Hey everyone, we are celebrating 420, a few days late with this week's beer. It is called Contact High and it is by Four Hands out of St. Louis, Missouri. So not uh, too far, I actually picked this up in St. Louis in Sunset Hills, Missouri at the uh, beer sauce shop there in Sunset Hills. So uh, obviously Contact High, what are we gonna talk about today? Well, who do you think is the wrestler? Well. Had a couple choices, but obviously I'm going to go with the Hall of Famer, the recently inducted Hall of Famer, Rob Van Dam, and that is a beautiful pour. Uh, Contact High, by the way, it's uh, it says bonus when lit. Um, the can, again, very cool design with the can with the pinball kind of concept and idea. Uh, pairings goes well with uh, spicy foods and chicken. I like that they put that on here. It is a 5% Alcohol by volume two, by the way. So, ooh, very nice. That's pretty good. It's got some hops to it. It's got a kick to it, but it's not, again, overwhelming. Um, but the, the hop kind of lingers. Uh, now this says ale with orange zest. Although I do, I feel like it's a little, a little bitter, but it's not terribly bitter. I'm gonna definitely give this a three count, and I'm gonna definitely give RVD Rob Van Dam a three count as well. I can remember, gosh, back probably in 1991, uh, getting Pro Wrestling Illustrated. I used to get that that magazine every month, and at the end of the year, they would do the year-end awards, and I can remember uh, Rob. It wasn't Rob Van Dam at the time; it was Rob something else. I think it might have been his legitimate name and it's escaping me at the moment, but I remember that he was listed as one to watch in 1992, I guess then, or whatever the year was. Anyway, it was a long time ago and he has come a long way over the past three decades. And, you know, I obviously recognized and saw him coming up through ECW, watching that in the mid nineties and then uh, eventually WWE, TNA, he's done it all, you know, WWE champion, and I really wish that his reign as champion would have lasted longer and, and they would have done more with him. I know he made some uh, unfortunate choices, we'll leave it at that, and which may be related to the whole contact high concept here. But without a doubt, a very entertaining wrestler, a very deserving superstar in the WWE Hall of Fame. I really hope, you know, there's been talk of, of he and, and Matt Riddle uh, doing some things together in WWE if Rob Van Dam sticks around. I don't know, but he definitely uh, made an impact, pun intended, uh, on fans and on wrestlers and, and inspired a generation, you know, because I feel like Rob Van Dam, RVD, was one of those first guys that, that took to the air and did more aerial and acrobatic and, and martial arts types of moves that really got over and resonated with the crowd. And I think you know, the, the similarities to Rob Van Dam kind of helped, uh, to uh, uh, John Claude Van Dam rather, helped Rob Van Dam become an even bigger superstar than he, uh, uh, than we expected to see. So, nonetheless, cheers to RVD, cheers to Forehands and Contact High, and cheers to you. Have a great weekend, everyone.